Hi guys, so uh, this video is mostly for myself and I decided I was going to share it uh, because I've been trying to uh, repost the build of this kayak from uh, my previous YouTube channel uh, that I haven't used for like five or six years. Uh, so I, I was not able to bring the video from my other profile to this channel. So uh, what, I did, what I decided to do is re-edit the, the video for this one. So this one, as you be able to see it's just a, a slideshow of pictures because that's what I did six years ago. I don't have any uh, video footage of this but that's like I said it's a personal uh, aspect. I, I want to get rid of my other YouTube channel because I don't use it uh, So and, and I don't want to get rid of the video so basically that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going to show you guys the, the pictures and uh, I'm going to add some pictures at the end of uh, some uh, excursion that I went and uh, sunsets and stuff. So I hope you enjoy. So for those of you who would like more information, uh, this kayak model comes from One Ocean Kayaks and uh, I'll leave a, a link in the description for you guys but uh, everything that you're going to see in the pictures is extremely well detailed in that manual and it's also uh, well uh, described on his uh, website. So on this I'm going to let you go on the video. So the first thing is to uh, put the, the mold together. So this is the spine that's going to hold all the forms that you see me cutting here. Uh, all those uh, pieces, all those uh, drawings are uh, full size. So when you have you get the prints for uh, One Ocean Kayaks, you get all the, the proper dimension and the, the guidelines are onto that piece of wood. So it, it's really, really easy to follow. And bear in mind that uh, that was my first attempt as, at a big project and it was a breeze so uh, here you can see all the, the pieces I've started to mill and I have to beat and cove them so this is like a, a, a made up little router table that I made and I was able to beat and cove every pieces and that's my first starting trip strip. Uh, that's the the bow and the stern are uh, the same uh, way, so it's a bunch of tiny strip that's able to uh, get shaped to the curve of the, the bow and the stern. And from there, the, there's a, a bead at the bottom, and, and then you can get your strips inside that little uh, groove there. Once again, there's a bunch of staples, and as you go up, you want to make sure you you measure on each side to, to make sure that you're, you're uh, closing the hole in an uh, even weight. And once the bottom is finished, it's just a matter of turning it over and, and do the top section. So here you can see I'm removing uh, and putting an inlay strip of pine in the middle just to create a, a highlight because I, I knew that the red cedar would actually be darker and uh, the pine keeps pretty much its color so it, it, it looks pretty nice. On the top section you can see I started laying out the V uh, design uh, front and back of uh, the seating area and that uh, red cedar is a uh, reclaimed cedar that I got from a property I was renting. There was an old cedar stub, stump sorry, that, that was uh, on the property and it, it was like uh, roughly like 150 to 200 years old and it was really really aged. So I guess that's why I got that kind of a dark color and it looks very, very nice. Now that the staple are all removed, uh, what I was doing is uh, filling up all the pour all the holes uh, that the staple have left and then sanding everything to uh, get it ready for fiberglassing. So uh, this is basically the whole shell that's just wood and I'm, I'm just preparing myself to do the the, the epoxy and the fiberglass. So uh, bear in mind it was my first attempt at doing any fiberglass. So I was very, very uh, meticulous and very uh, taking my time basically because I didn't want to screw it up at that point. So uh, here I'm doing my wet sanding. So I had like the the felt marker that was uh, showing me all the low spots and then by wet sanding it I was able to remove 
and have a nice finish. And then after that, it's just a matter of turning the whole kayak around again and uh, finish up the little bits and getting ready for fiberglass as well. So here you can see the fiberglass is done on the top and the hatches are not cut yet. So you, you, you do fiberglass everything as if the, the hatch were, were not even there. That's the rim, it's a carbon fiber. So at this point I've got the, the skeleton removed and I'm doing the fiberglass on the inside. So I've got spreader bars and level to make sure everything stays straight. And once the hatches are cut, I am getting ready to do the, the rims, like the watertight rims. So uh, there's great information after you purchase the print from a One Ocean Kayaks. There are all the details on how to make those. Uh, great layouts and stuff on online uh, features so uh, uh, if you want more information you can go there um, now that the two halves are fiberglass on the inside I'm getting ready to do the um, the the uh, epoxy of the both halves together so that I'm going to be using uh, a tape on the inside you can see that black line going towards the front that's my uh, putty uh, that I colored black and uh, while that's curing, I'm making the, the seat, the backrest. So uh, I'm putting a, a curly maple veneer, uh, and then the back is going to be uh, carbon fiber. So that's going to keep that shape. Uh, once the inside is done, I'm, I'm moving on the outside and making the tape of the two halves, and then cutting the back for the rudder block. Uh, I didn't end up putting the rudder on. Uh, I do have all the material. I just enjoy kayaking that way and that block is uh, epoxied in and then there's a fiberglass layer on top of it to protect it that piece of uh, cedar is the same from the same stump as uh, the top uh, v-shape so uh, another piece of history so you can see how the backrest looks uh, the hatches with the bungee cords and then after that it's just uh, a matter of getting it out to uh, to paddle so uh, that was uh, when the, the varnish that I put was finally dry, I put uh, five coats of uh, Z-Spar varnish. Uh, it was time for christening the boat, so I used uh, whiskey. And then uh, that was uh, the next day I, I went to the water to take a photo shoot of the boat. And now, uh, obviously, after six years, there's more scratches, but uh, there's great memories that comes with it. So uh, that's uh, a big lake from where I used to live and smaller like pictures that you can see and uh, uh, I hope I hope you enjoyed this video uh, like I said at the beginning it was mostly for me to uh, be able to transfer that video onto my new channel because basically on the computer I'm really struggling so uh, that was the only way I found that I would uh, be able to remove my other YouTube channel and keep my video so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe